In this lecture, to get the bars and text aligned, we will look at different alignment methods. I will hide the legs, and show the sketch. I create a new layer, and call it, upper body. I zoom in on the first bar. I select the rectangle tool. I drag over the first bar, to match the width. I press the space bar. A technique to align, and duplicate at the same time, is found in the snapping menu. I activate snapping. I open the menu, and below alignment I activate, same distances. At the bottom, I click on reset to simple snapping. If I want to go back, I click on advanced mode. We see, there are now only three snapping options. I can snap to bounding boxes, which is the dotted line we see around the rectangle. And I can snap to nodes, which I will deactivate, together with bounding boxes. What I want is to align, so I will activate it. If I drag the rectangle, wherever I press the space bar, I will create a copy of it. I want this rectangle to stay here, so I press Ctrl D. When I drag to the right, I see the duplicate will align to the original, so I don't have to press Ctrl. When I reach the second graph, I press the space bar. I drag further, to the third graph. Inkscape is now recognizing a pattern. We see an alignment line in the middle, and a distribute line at the bottom. So two things are happening at the same time, aligning and distributing. All I do, is drag, and press the space bar when the distribute sign appears. The rectangles, have now equal distances between them. But because I am using the drawing, my bars do not align perfectly with the sketch. So I will reposition the last bar, and press Ctrl A, to select all bars. I open the align and distribute panel. To redistribute the bars, I click below distribute, on even horizontal gaps. Now the bars are perfectly aligned to the sketch. I will drag them out. I don't need the rectangles to be a live shape, so I will remove their on-shape control widgets. I will position the bars. I press Ctrl A, to select all bars. I right-click, and choose, Set Clip Group. I select Blue and Bicycle Kick, and duplicate them. I drag the duplicates on the Clip Group folder. I will hide the sketch, and show the legs. I also need darker bars at the bottom. So I duplicate the Clip folder. I call the group, Dark Bars. I drag the group on the layer, so they get on top. I select the rectangles, and make them black. I select the group folder. I set the opacity of the folder, to 60%. I show sketch. To be able to select the dark bars in the canvas, I double click on a bar. Now I am inside the dark bars group. I click on a bar, and drag it down. I will also do this, for the other bars. I hide the sketch again. Now I will place the text. I create a new layer, and call it text. I click on the text tool. When I click, I see a blinking cursor. For my font, I choose Pathway Gothic 1, which is a free Google font. I will set text alignment, to center aligned. I type, 81%. I click on white to make the text white. I can size the text, by using the menu. I can also size text, with the select tool. I hold Shift plus Control, and drag. I want the percent sign to be smaller. So I select it, and make it 18 point. I click on spacing, and inside vertical kerning. With my up and down arrows, I can position the glyph. You can also do this on the canvas. If I hold alt, I can move the glyph up and down in small steps. And I can kern the glyph, so move it closer, a further away from the number, by holding alt, and pressing the left and right keys. I want to repeat this text, on the other bars. And I want them to have the same distance, to the top of a bar. To do this, I will use a placeholder. I click on the rectangle tool, and enable snapping. I activate, node snapping. I drag a rectangle, and make it orange. I place the rectangle below the text. I shift click on the text. In align and distribute, I choose relative to biggest object, and click on center on vertical axis. Now I will group them. Then I duplicate the group. For snapping, I only want the corners to snap. So I click on advanced mode, and deselect bounding boxes, and other points. I only want cusp nodes, which means corner nodes, to snap. Now I drag, and will not let go of the mouse, until all copies are placed. I drag to the top of the next bar, where it will snap. As said, I will not let go of the mouse, but press the space bar to place a copy. I repeat this, to create the other copies. Now I click on the text tool, and give in the percentages. To enter a group, I double-click on it. Then I right-click on the orange rectangle, and choose, Select Same Fill Color. I press Delete, to delete all placeholders. 
I don't need the text to be in a group anymore. So I select them all, right click, and choose, ungroup. Finally, let's place the team names. I create a new layer, called teams. I select the text tool, and click on the canvas. I set text alignment, to left aligned. I press caps lock. I type, Manchester, press enter, and type United. I select the text United. I hold the Alt key, and with my arrow up key, adjust the spacing. I click on the select tool, and make the text larger. I click on the text again, so I can rotate it. I duplicate the text. Then I drag to the right, and with my space bar, I make copies. I double click on a copy, press Ctrl A, and change the name. I also change the name of the other copies. I select the team names. I go to align and distribute. Behind relative 2, I select, selection area. To align the text, I click on align top edges. And at the top, I type, chance of winning or qualifying. 